All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel for another update on the Bitcoin dominance. So in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about two different bullish divergences, which are both playing out on the four hourly time frame. We're going to start off talking about this regular bullish divergence as this has been playing out for 28 days now. And then we're going to move on to the hidden bullish divergence. This has only been playing out for about seven days. And in my opinion, this has been caused by the regular bullish divergence. So let's right off the back talk about the regular bullish divergence. Divergence. So I'm going to pull up the cheat sheet to the right side of my screen. So if you don't understand divergences, you can just reference to this. So jumping right into this, you can see uh, if we start off with the oscillator, what you witness is since the 15th of June, you have lows followed up by a series of higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, and higher lows. And then if we reference the price action, you can see if we look back to when this started on the oscillator on the 15th of June, you can see that we've got lows followed up by lower lows, lower lows, a series of lower lows, another series of lower lows. And then we've started to break to the upside. And this is where we're going to be talking about the hidden bullish divergence afterwards. Uh, but to start with, let's just reference this cross section. So as you can see, the price has been moving to the downside, but the oscillator has been bullishly diverging from this. Now, when we do cross reference the divergence cheat sheet, you will notice this is strong bullish divergence. This is strong because the price is heavily moving to the downside and the oscillator is also heavily moving to the upside. Like I said, since the start of this trend on the 15th of June, all the way up here, you can see this has been currently playing out for 27 days and 20 hours. So let's just call it 28 days is how long this regular bullish divergence has been playing out for. Now, regular bullish divergence is a reversal signal. So as we have been moving to the downside on the four hourly time frame, this should be indicative that we should be moving to the upside on the dominance very, very soon. And subsequently, this should also mean that Bitcoin will be outperforming altcoins. Now, this has been playing out for about 28 days. And as you can see in the lower time frames, we've started to make an uptrend from this descent over on the dominance. And then this is where the hidden bullish divergence has formed. So if we look at the start of the oscillator, you can see, once again, I'm going to pull up the divergence cheat sheet. So if you don't understand these yet, you can cross reference them. Uh, before I do continue, if you do want to learn more about divergences, feel free to head over to my channel, click on playlist, the educational series, and then scroll all the way down. And I've made a two part mini series talking about both regular and hidden divergences. If you do want to learn in depth about these, then be sure to head over to that uh, video specifically. So hidden bullish divergence. As you can see, if we cross reference the oscillator to the price action, the oscillator has had lows, lower lows, lower lows, and lower lows. This has been in place since the 6th of July. Now, if we extrapolate this trend, you can see this has been playing out for about a week now, six days and 20 hours. Probably by the time I post this, this will be playing out for a week. So if we look at what's going on, you can see oscillator, lower lows, lower lows, series of lower lows. And then on the price action, you've got lows formed by higher lows and then a series of higher lows over here. So this is where the price is bullishly diverging from a bearish oscillator. And this is known as hidden bullish divergence. You can see over here, I need to change the color of my tool, but you can see right over here, you've got hidden bullish divergence playing out where once again, the price is bullishly moving to the upside, contradicting a bearish move to the downside on the oscillator. This is very, very nice because this means the RSI is getting a chance to reset in the lower time frames, even when the price, uh, or should I say, even when the Bitcoin dominance is moving to the upside. And this hidden bullish divergence has been formed because this regular bullish divergence has been playing out for almost a month now. Now. So all in all, considering we have had regular bullish divergence playing out for almost a month now and pairing this with the fact that this regular bullish divergence has allowed some hidden bullish divergence to start to form in the past week. This is a very, very bullish sign over for Bitcoin. Now, if we do head over to the macro charts, if I have to reset this very, very quickly so I can pull back my original chart, Uno Memento. 
and voila, here we go. If we head over to the weekly time frame, I just want to give you a brief update on the Bitcoin dominance in the higher time frames. I'm not going to jump into an extensive analysis video on this, uh, namely because we did this three days ago over here on the Bitcoin dominance. We didn't reference any divergences over here. We just did a pure in-depth analysis video on this. Uh, all I really want to say is in the past couple of days, we have, start we have started to have a slight pullback to the downside. Nonetheless, with these divergences forming, it is looking very, very nice uh, for the Bitcoin dominance right now. You can even potentially consider, if we do draw this out, that we do have something very reminiscent of a inverse head and shoulders playing out over on the BTC dominance right now. So having this little momentum reset is no worries to me. If we do head over to the weekly time frame, switch over to the Heiko uh, We talked about this before, you know, it took us one, two, three, four, five weeks for the bearish momentum to start to subside over on the Bitcoin dominance before the next move up to the upside. And we're currently sitting in week number one, two, three, four, five. So in my opinion, within the next week or so, what I'm personally expecting for Bitcoin is for this fractal to play out. I'm expecting maybe another bounce over the next couple of days, but then we're going to head to the downside in the next week or two. What I then expect is for the Bitcoin dominance to start to kick back in and have the next leg to the upside. If you have watched my in-depth video talking about what I expect to be playing out over on the Bitcoin dominance, then you know that I am personally targeting at this moment in time for a massive breakout to the upside from the 48.5% region. This would entail a further, from where we are now, a further 10.6% move back to the upside for the dominance. Uh, I would definitely like to see this play out and I do also really like how uh, previously, where the dominance topped out over here, we were coming into the heart line for the RSI. We reset, took another leg to the upside, and because we've had this reset, because we've allowed enough time for momentum to subside, because we've had this correction, the RSI is now once again sitting at the heart line while we are at 43.8. And bear in mind, the last time we were at the heart line for the dominance, we were down here at 43.4. We had a retest, and this is after the most recent retest. So I definitely think a move to the upside for the dominance is long overdue. That's all I've got for you today. Bear in mind, while a move to the upside for the Bitcoin dominance is bullish for Bitcoin, it does not mean that it will be bullish on the BTC USD pair. When the Bitcoin dominance goes up, it does not matter if the price of Bitcoin goes up or down. The Bitcoin dominance going up simply signifies that no matter what's happening in the total crypto market cap, Bitcoin is outperforming altcoin. So the price of Bitcoin could go to the moon or the price of Bitcoin could absolutely rocket to the downside. Either way, if the Bitcoin dominance is moving up, Bitcoin as a whole is outperforming the total crypto market cap and subsequently altcoins will be bleeding against Bitcoin. This is what I see playing out in the next couple of weeks. Bear in mind as well, Bitcoin dominance can take a while uh, to get into these moves and it is extremely volatile. So make sure you don't get shaken out with these moves to the upside and the downside. We've had many explosive break up, break down, break up, break down. The dominance really doesn't like to move up slowly, slowly, slowly. It likes to chop people in, chop people out, chop people in, chop people out. And I imagine we're going to have another leg to the upside. And once we start coming down, this is probably going to be another absolutely brutal leg to the downside. And people are going to get shaken out over here, just like they did over here but in my opinion the direction is still up the trend is your friend until the end and i am very bullish on the bitcoin dominance continuing to move to the upside that's all i've got for the bitcoin dominance today my friends i will keep you updated on this over on my channel as always cowboy out peace